Eddie, thanks. Cleanup is now happening after a huge windstorm knocked down hundreds of thousands of trees in Grand County. Matt Renew is near Winter Park this morning. The Forest Service says trails in that area. Matt have some trees that are piled up 15 feet high. That's incredible. It's really incredible, Gary, and the Forest Service is really just now starting to understand the area that's been affected. Most of these trees fell weeks ago during that snowstorm that we had, but trees with weak root systems continue to fall. That can be dangerous and it could be a problem not just for now, but for seasons to come. So hikers are being warned to be prepared. At the Arapaho National Forest Office in Granby. A little bit of a challenging fall. After a busy summer. It's been a busy year. District Ranger Shoshana Cooper and crews with the Headwater Trail Alliance look like they're going to be even busier this fall. You can see that it's not clear yet, and we've already put over 180 man hours into it. Working to clear thousands of trees piled up over several trails. But obviously right now that's impassable. After a massive windstorm. It was such a violent wind coming from the east that it kind of laid everything down similar to a nuclear blast. Scattered a path of destruction in random spots all over Grand County. It is tens of hundreds of thousands of trees that have blown down. So hikers are being warned. Some trails are covered in more than 15 feet of debris and completely blocked. And if you can go around, it will add a lot of time to your trip or you could end up completely turned around and unaware of where you're going. Typically hiking off trail, it's very easy to get um, disoriented, especially if this area is no longer familiar looking because it looks different now with a blowdown. Some roads and trails have already been reopened, but in some areas where chainsaws aren't allowed, it could be several summers before those trails are fully cleared. It could be years before the trees are cleared. Mix that. There's the longer term problem of all of this fuel being on the ground. With added fire danger and Shoshana says. That's, that's a tough way to end the season. This year's given them plenty to do in Grand County. It's been quite the year. The Headwater Trail Alliance believes that they've cleared about 30,000 trees, most of those from this latest wind event. Some of the areas that have been hit hardest, Corona Pass, the Monarch Lake Trail, and the Idlewild Trail System, along with Rollins Pass, have all been hit the hardest. U.S. Forest Service hoping to get up in the air later this fall so they can survey more of this damage. But, Gary, locals and longtime locals up here in Grand County say they've never seen a wind event like this do the damage that it's done over all of that area. Area. Yeah, I mean, we've heard about it before. There was one, I think, by Steamboat maybe a decade ago. <clears throat> but, um, man, it's, it's something else to see that. Matt, thank you. Appreciate it. Really it really is.